Hello everyone, here you are listening to Bivin Kumar and today is the Swile, uh, today is the Swile series 1 uh, under that I am going to discuss uh, about the rocks. So first of all I will start about the what is the rocks. Actually rock is the natural substance or uh, a solid aggregate of one or more minerals or mineraloids that is called uh, rocks. And the uh, earth outer solid layer that is called lithosphere and is made up of rocks. What we see on our ground that is mainly made up of the rocks in the form of pebbles and mountains. These all are the different type of the rocks. And the scientific study of that rocks is called petrology. Here two picture you are seeing in the size of the CC and the uh, other is the balanced rock at the Garden of God near Pike in Colorado Spring at Colorado Spring. This too is the example of uh, pictorial example of the rocks and the very uh, unique uh, characteristics of this rocks feature of these rocks is you can see how this is the balance so many ta so many time earthquake even happened but till this rocks was not disturbed so this type of the creature you will find a lot on at our planet that is mainly made up the rocks and if we go a little bit uh, detail 74.3 percent of earth crust rocks is your silica and this is actually a compound of silicon and oxygen so this was a little bit introduction about the rocks now i'm going to uh, discuss about the types of the rocks actually the, the rocks is mainly three type igneous sedimentary and metamorphic rocks so i'll start from the igneous rocks igneous rocks is uh, actually having silica less than 45 percent and uh, the word igneous actually is derived from the latin word and its mean is the fire means it will form from the magma uh, that's why it, uh, its meaning is the fire and example is your granite basalt diorite gabbro cyanide granodiorite and peridotite these are the some best example of the, our igneous rocks and this magma will be cool and solidify so it will form the igneous rocks here it it will be two types this formation will be on the, on the basis of position of the formation it will be two type first is your plutonic rocks that is called intrusive rocks and other is your ext extrusive rocks and uh, if you see here in the pictorial form here the magma is formed uh, underground means under the earth and this magma will come out in the form of the lava or so this lava will be cold at a outer layer and that's why it is called extrusive igneous rocks and it will cool very quickly so is uh, these rocks will be very fine grained and has lack of crystal growth but those uh, magma which will be cool inside the earth that will call your intrusive igneous rocks and because of its cooling process take very long time means it will cool very slowly because of that this form will uh, this rocks will form very coarse grand and uh, if you see here the plutonic rocks it will form it will crystallize slowly within the earth crust and large crystal will be developed under the ground and rocks that form is actually crystalline in nature if you see the example example is granite diorite cyanide and gabbro but in the ca case of extrusive rocks is lava will be cool very rapidly that's why uh, it will looks like glassy in uh, structure and uh, example is uh, or like andesite trachyte pumice and basalt so this was the uh, about the igneous rocks and uh, one of the basic uh, reaction will be happen that is called your bowen's uh, series reaction actually what is this this is the chemical abundance and the rate of cooling of the magma typically form a common common uh, form a sequence that is known as your bowen reaction series and uh, if you see in india uh, the area which are covered by the igneous rocks is this actually here you can see here the decan uh, plateau this is mainly made up of the igneous rocks it is covering your whole uh, maharashtra mp some part of the mp and some extent up these are actually made up the made up of the lava so this is the some best example in india so again i'm moving toward the next uh, next uh, to, uh, means uh, points of this igneous rocks 
actually if you see the uh, our whole earth crust the about 64 percent of the earth crust by the volume is uh, actually igneous rocks and of that 66 percent are basalt and gabbro and that is made up of the 16 percent are granite and 70 percent grano diorites or diorites so this is the about the uh, outer layer of the our crust but if we talk about the oceanic crust 99 percent of the uh, oceanic earth crust is made of the basalt actually uh, it is an igneous rock of mafic composition so this was little bit about the uh, igneous rocks now i am moving toward the uh, sedimentary rocks actually sedimentary rocks how it will form sedimentary rocks will be formed from the igneous rocks when it will be facing agent of denudation and agent of denudation may be your water wind ice or gravity when it will act on the igneous rocks so when it will act on the igneous rocks so weathering process will be start so after that sediments will deposit at a other place so here you are uh, saying that the uh, weathered sediments will, will deposit here so after depo de deposition here and it will accumulate and form cementation process will be happen so this will form a sedimentary rock so this is the one of the mechanism through which this sedimentary rocks form here i am going some uh, detail about the sedimentary rocks so when that sediments will come accumulate and cement that will form the your sedimentary rocks and apart from the that there will be also organic growth in the water and this is actually a se uh, sedimentation and this will also form your sedimentary rocks uh, other than that organic particle detritus will be also accumulate and that will um, form uh, and will cement and that will also form your sedimentary rocks fossil fuel exhibited from the, your mountain that will come at a lower elevation by the water or wind or glacial movement so that will also accumulate and cement and that will form your sedimentary rocks here i am showing you the picture of uh, this sedimentary rocks here you can see very visually this is showing the picture of your sedimentary rocks and if we talk about the our earth crust cover about four fifth of the extent of the rocks what we uh, see on the our earth are visible on the earth surface is made up of your sedimentary rocks but if we compare it on the basis of uh, volume basis so it may be just five percent of uh, on the basis of the volume but on the basis of coverage it is having very wider extent again i'm moving toward the metamorphic rocks actually the metamorphic rocks uh, example you can see here the genesis marble sahis slate calcite and quartzite and uh, metamorphic rocks may be formed from your older metamorphic rocks sedimentary rocks or igneous rocks it can be formed from these three rocks when when it will form when different temperature and pressure will be imposed on that means in this uh, on that and the pressure uh, temperature will be uh, should be near about 150 to 200 degrees centigrade and pressure should be about 1500 bar so it will cause metamorphism means changes in the original structure of these three rocks so this will form metamorphic rock so on the basis of uh, dominance of uh, temperature and pressure this uh, these are different type of the meta metamorphism like contact metamorphism means suppose here the temperature will play a very dominating role so it will call contact metamorphism and pressure metamorphism when it will form inside the earth means deeper uh, under the deep uh, ground so there will be the pressure will playing very dominating role and temperature will playing very smaller role so this type of the uh, meta metamorphism will call pressure metamorphism other than this other is your original metamorphism where the both heat and pressure will play very important role that is that will call your original metamorphism and those uh, structure those will having a texture process will have a texture that is called your foliate type and those will not having the texture that is called your non foliate type of the metamorphic rocks so here you can say the foliate rocks actually uh, primarily composed of lamellar minerals such as mica and the example is your slate phyllite myelonite and non foliate uh, metamorphic rocks like your marbles 
soap stone and serpentine so again i'm going to uh, summarize it through the one of the very good example of the rock formation cycle suppose this is igneous rocks formed after the weathering process it will go siltation then cementation aggregation will be there then it will form the sedimentary rocks after the sedimentary rocks it will again heat and pressure will form and then chemical process this will go to form the metamorphic rock again metamorphic rock because of the heating and melting it will form a magma and magma again will cool and solidify then it will again form the igneous rock and this igneous rocks itself when it will be heating and melting that will become as a magma so this is the actually this rock formation cycle and beside that you uh, the igneous rock directly can be go and convert into metamorphic rocks if the temperature and pressure will playing important role on that and even weather material will also directly go and become a metamorphic rock so these are the some summary of the rock formation cycle and i think you understand what is the rocks and what are the different types of the rocks and how rocks form and if you understand and and, and taken the interest you can share it for, for the benefit of your friend too on your social site like facebook and twitter and for more information regarding this and agriculture update you can also uh, like my facebook page dr bibin kumar and you can also follow me on my twitter agro bibin iri and in future for more related video like this you can subscribe here dr bipin kumar so i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching my video